within the last hour, this came out, 37,363 have been ordered to evacuate the Reading area, the car fire. So clearly it is still exploding. Where are these people going to go? What's going to happen to them? Watching some of the recent videos that have come in. Let's watch them together. Watch them together. All right, uh, we are driving down Menlo Way. This is just off Santa Barbara Drive here in Reading. This is kind of northwestern Reading here. We're already seeing many homes. I cannot count. They're on both sides of the road right now. Uh, lots of structures. This, um, this is really reminding me of uh, the Santa Rosa fire. Um, this is just one community that uh, really seems to be decimated. It's, it's once again almost like a bomb went off here. Several homes down this street. Um, I'm actually seeing still some smoke and fire over in the distance there, so we're really not that far. The odd thing about, the unique thing I should say about this community is these are small pockets of homes um, in dense brushy areas, dense oak trees, uh, and little pockets. So there's there's homes in, in one spot, there's trees, and there's more homes. So there's just really just fuel surrounding everything in this area. We're going to keep continuing to uh, take a look at the, this, this fire here in Reading. Yeah, it sure does remind me of Santa Rosa and Greece and Portugal and the Gatlinburg fires and Fort McMurray in Canada and a whole lot of fires. Look at all of the trees and the bushes. Once again, we have fires leaping over and just targeting the homes. Look at this. There's a wooden fence right here and it's untouched, but the home is gone. They sure are, they sure are the strangest wildfires, behaviors that, well, I'm not a firefighter, but I will say, you know, the, I don't know if that plastic garbage bin was just put out there or just standing there, but you know, you, you, when you hear people talk about the heat, the heat, how hot these fires are, and that garbage bin completely untouched, not even melted a little bit, So this is what it. What, this is what we're going to be doing. Just watching devastation. The cloth. The cloth didn't burn up. Uh, some of it, I guess, did. But you would have thought that that would go up like almost immediately. Look at the cloth on this uh, shed or whatever over at the shed, or is it a tarp? But you would think that these things would be absolutely gone when you see these homes leveled, nothing left. And you see, I can't get rid of these. They don't Sacramento be, I can't X them off. Um, but the bushes, the shrubs, so this is a war and we're just going to watch people get destroyed. I, I, this, 37,000 evacuated. Yeah, it does look a, like a bomb, doesn't it? Now, I spoke to a subscriber this morning who lives about 60 to 70 miles away from here. Um, I was asking where Dane Wigington is, and she told me, but 
seeing now 37,363 ordered to evacuate, mandatory evacuation, I, well, based on the conversation I had with her this morning, I felt Dane was okay, now I don't know. Um, so many people can't recover from these fires. What is this? Is this like a plastic, um, just like molding of a car, an old car? Okay, so everything around it has been leveled by fire. <coughs> Excuse me. And look at the red on this. It doesn't even look touched. How do you explain that? Well, directed energy weapons could explain that. Microwave weapons. Put plastic in a microwave and it doesn't melt or burn up. Nothing. But metal? The subscriber that I spoke with, I think she said it was local news that she heard that somebody had a flat tire and she was unsure, but maybe just driving with the flat tire, it caused a spark and that's what caused these fires. They grew so out of control from a flat tire. Now, I don't believe what I hear from mainstream media, the causes of these fires. But what is this? Is it plastic? I don't know. It could be metal. Um, my gut feeling is that it was not a flat tire. Um, I got a comment from somebody underneath one of the videos that I posted earlier, and they live in the area, and they said, you know, it was not windy, it was not windy, it was not windy, and then boom, windy. So they have the weapons to create the wind. And then you think about what California has been going through. They have been, you know, having to deal with this manufactured drought for nearly 10 years, drying out the atmosphere, all of the nanoparticulates, the aluminum, the barium, the strontium, the, and lithium, highly flammable. So you listen to these uh, firefighters, what are they saying? Never saw anything like it, never saw anything like it, never saw anything like it. If people you talk to say that this is because of global warming, you, I, I don't know, Wow, you need to set them straight somehow. This, this, the, the lie of global warming and climate change, it's all over the place. I have seen so many articles, the heat waves, the flooding, the fires, global warming, climate change. They continue, they continue these lies. They have been so exposed with these lies, but they just continue them. And I can't stand how these lies continue. And many people still, you know, yeah, it really is easier to believe a lie than engage in conversation with somebody who might have some information that something else is going on. Look at this devastation. So this is ramping up, guys, and I don't know about you, but it really is very hard for me to see people getting destroyed every single day. Look at the numbers in Greece. Um, the fires in Ontario. The fire at Yosemite's. Yosemite. You know, it's, this looks like it's exploding from the inside, from the inside. 
that doesn't happen in a wildfire. But once again, the homes and the cars are targeted. I, you know, so many people have such a difficult time recovering now from these unnatural disasters. And listening to people claim that this is global warming. Don't you want to scream? God. Well, I just, I really hope that subscribers, strangers, you know, just I hope they I hope they all get what they need. The support they need and and the help that they need to recover. But we know Agenda 2030 is still underway. They want people out of the mountain areas. They want them into the mega regions in the cities. And then you know, I go on Drudge. This kind of fire? You, you have 37,363 people under a mandatory evacuation in California. These fires taking out so many homes. And what do you see? You see Trump. Four point something percent GDP. And then underneath several articles, deadly wildfire in California. And all of the Trump stuff. I can't, I cannot, I, I am, there's a war going on. It will continue to go on. I saw somebody leave a comment underneath my videos that I posted just uh, earlier today on these fires it was to Hal Turner's website and it's all about Trump getting I don't know 162 terabytes of information from Putin um, the Russians the Russians know how to break through encryption and wow so many people are going to get arrested What if they do get arrested? Do you think this is going to stop? Really? No, it's not. It's not. It's going to continue. More and more people are going to get destroyed. And sorry guys, but that's where my concern is with ordinary people getting destroyed. Whether or not we actually see arrests of the quote-unquote elite and the high-level intelligence personnel and it's not going to help those who are suffering the consequences of this war it's not going to stop the flash flooding that is ongoing Colorado Pennsylvania Maryland, um, other states, South Carolina, Charleston, North Carolina, more and more people are going down. And somehow, I wish that we could figure out how to support one another, help one another, but that has to be done in in your communities and all I can say is each and every one of you they are using weather as a weapon which means that they can bring flood to where floods don't ordinarily happen they can bring earthquakes where earthquakes don't ordinarily happen 
and these fires. They can bring them anywhere. Um, I hope that you do have preparations for a disaster that might come your way. I hope that you have talked to family members. I hope that you have evacuation plans already set up. Uh, I hope that you have spoken to maybe friends or family that are living in other states and have you know found out where you can go if you do need that kind of help don't don't wait don't wait just have everything ready to leave very quickly God, guys. All right. See you later.